Ashley, sorry guys. No, sorry guys. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, oh, mate. Oh, you Pleasure. Good on you, Kelly. Earn it. Look at him. Easy, mate. Easy. 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 A bit tiny for this. Hey, T Bone's a BJJ specialist. This is nothing. Plus, he, he actually had three bacon and egg sandwiches. Hey, mate. How are you? Hey, mate. How are you? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Put him down, Ash. Put him down. I'm keeping the ration. Um, as far as emotions, yeah, it's almost hitting me. Oh, it's right there, bubbling. But, um, you know, just to have the boys cheer me up. They told me they were going on a free surf the other day, uh, Adzi and, and uh, T-Bone, those guys. So nice to have the local boys from the podcast cheer me up. Um, and the sport here has been, uh, like, unquestionably incredible over the years. You know, I've, I've, really, I've never really even had a good result here, and the crowds have just been so uh, supportive of me and, uh, you know, generally telling me that I'm second behind Taj or Jack for them so uh, or maybe Jay Davies that one year um, you know but they've, they've always given me a lot of support and and uh, uh, you know I, I I've just I've had a I've had a fight with this wave my whole career um, so it's not necessarily the wave I want to end on um, I have I have put in for a wild card for Fiji and we'll see how that goes and um, but yeah it is what it is you know everything comes to an end and if you don't adapt you don't survive and my, my motivation just hasn't quite been there to really put in that hundred percent that everyone's doing now you know uh, just it's just so much emotion for so long you know so much dedication and you know it's not all it's not all uh, roses you know um, but it's it's been the best times of my life, and and uh, you know I know my family's at home watching and love you guys. Um, couldn't couldn't quite pull a miracle off this week, but you know I pulled a few off over the years, and uh, I still had that hope out there. You know I was like oh, one might pop up with a minute to go. So, um, uh, but to lose to the number one, you know Griff's the number one guy, and I've I've been close friends with Griff for a long time. Um, so I'm kind of avoiding that emotion because it's just, it's all right there bubbling up. But it hit me, it hit me at sunset this year because um, I knew that without a good result at Pipeline and obviously I didn't do well at sunset. And, you know, I have been struggling since, since my surgery, since the recovery. Um, it's like I'm just fighting through the pain, hoping for adrenaline. But I, I felt at sunset after that. I was at the house talking to Kalani, and I just kind of broke down. I went, you know, I can, it, this, this feels like the end, you know. And um, uh, But the start of something else, you know, the start of the rest of life. And, you know, I'm, I, I've, I've had such incredible luck and good fortune over the years. And I think that's what um, it's so tied in with my surfing. So... Yeah, I'll just have a little quiet time after I spend some time with the crowd and and uh, just absorb the whole thing, you know. But it's been fun to be over 50, still mixing up with the guys and, and um, you know, feeling like I'm there with them and, and um, getting to see these new crop of guys. You know, Rio said to me, he said, don't retire, we got to get a heat first. And we got it, we ended up getting a heat at Pipeline. And, and then Cole and I got a heat, which was fun. and, and um, you know, as I finish with Griffin as a full-time competitor, that's cool. But uh, I, I do feel like if I get a wild card or two, I could end up against Griffin again. So, you know, I'll pay him back. <laughs>